This next segment, um, I'd like to show you how to replace a, uh, a string for a French horn valve. These are rotary valves that we have here. Quite often people are afraid to, um, to mess with them. So I'm going to go ahead and take this string off of this valve. They break. The um, um, student will come in with a broken string and um, most teachers won't know what to do. They don't have an extra horn on hand and there really isn't any way to um, to uh, quick mend it except for going ahead and replacing the string so we're going to go ahead and do that so these are the two screws that we'd like to unscrew the one on top of the spatula and the one back here that's connected to the rotor arm so unscrew this just a little we don't have to undo them all the way I'm going to grab just a regular screwdriver and pull this string on through. Okay, just kind of pay attention to where the string goes in, how it wraps around the uh, rotor, and where it comes out. Okay, bringing it through this direction, I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, and goes right through here. So this string really holds. Uh, and it and, uh, regulates this rotor arm which goes back and forth. Okay, I'm going to take some uh, fresh string. First of all, I'm going to place these two towels underneath the horn to give me a little bit of balance while I'm working. Underneath the um, the valve cluster right here and also underneath the, um, the, the valve spatula right in here to give me um, some point of reference. Okay. I'm going to reach over here and grab some new string. This uh, you can order um, rotor valve string from a supply company or you can go to your local um, sporting goods store and buy a heavy gauge uh, fly fishing string. So we're going to take the length of the old string and cut a new piece from it. And I'm going to take even more because I like to have some string to work with. About an inch longer than the other string that you were working with, so you know for a couple of reasons. Okay, so notice there's a knot on this side of the the of the string. Uh, the knot is to make sure that it it holds on one side. You'll see the knot right here, this part of the spatula, and that's where the string enters. So we're going to go ahead and tie a knot at the end of the string. In fact, I think I'll tie a double knot, make sure it doesn't pass through. Not on top of the knot. Okay, I'm going to take my cigarette lighter, and this is a nylon string, so it does melt. Take a cigarette lighter and burn the tip off of this end, so it's a little bit frayed. Don't burn yourself like I just did. Okay, so we have a little bit of a tip on that. Alright, so this particular valve the string goes in this direction. See the valve is on this side of the piston. Okay. What we're going to do is insert the string in this hole. Pull it through. Bring this around the back side. Bring it down underneath the screw. 
loop it behind the screw, bring the string underneath. Pull it tight. Tighten the screw. Bring it up over the post and through this hole on the opposite side of the spatula. Bring it through. We want to create that same little loop. The reason we're doing this is we want to catch the string underneath, so we want to make sure that it's holding tight. Tighten that side of it. Tighten this side. should be working. Okay. And the next thing we want to do is make sure that the spatula are even. Okay. So in order to lower this, all we have to do is loosen this screw right here. That was too much. Tighten it, loosen it just a little because it's not even with the other spatula. Should be nice and tight there.